Good morning, everybody. It's, uh, what is it? It's Friday the 29th, and we're in the greenhouse. Since uh, I have a little bit of free time, I have, I, I'm not super de duper rushed today. I'll do a little video on what we got going on. So let's jump into it. Before we talk about what the goals are today, make sure you go up and hit that like or that subscribe button, like the video, ask questions if you have any questions down below. Make sure to visit some of my favorite companies, wallacewow.com, Neptune's Harvest. They don't sponsor me. They don't get, well, that's a lie. Neptune's is giving me some free stuff. Ron doesn't. It's okay. I don't need them to. You go support Ron. Ron supports us as pumpkin growers. Uh, so the goal for today is to get the irrigation system done. Um, I'm going to be recycling, reusing um, last year's, but since I'm doing three pumpkins again, <clears throat> and I'm going from left to right rather than last year, we started them in the middle and they grew out each a direction. Um, I have to reorientate everything and kind of do it all over again. Oh, you can see the plastic. Look, see, look. That's a good view of the plastic. See it? That's from the hail. So, gotta love that. Um, yeah, so I've got one section kind of laid out. I'll be able to use my header line over again, but I have to, uh, header line, but I have to redo my trunk line from the tanks up there all the way up here. So I have to redo some of that. Since I'm redoing that, I'm going to be redoing a few things um, right outside of the pump and the tanks. Specifically, I'm going to add a, a vacuum brake or a, or a siphon, um, anti-siphon, as well as a filter. Um, I do get a fair bit of stuff, gunk, kind of flowing through my lines. Knock on wood. It's really not been too much of a problem for me when it comes to my irrigation lines actually like clogging, but I want to prevent that. So I'm putting an inline filter as well as the, uh, the vacuum brake, and then I will continue to um, run everything up. Once I'm all done, I will, uh, I'll kind of test one section at a time. I need to cut these um, hoses to length and uh, after that then I'm ready to put down the weed fabric so I'll kind of keep on jumping back and forth as the day progresses it's uh, 10 30 right now I have to go get the kids at about four so that's what that's five and a half hours that I have of pumpkin working time I'm not sure I'll be able to finish it up today but I should be pretty close and then we have the weekend so this will be the video on the irrigation setup. Wish me luck. Here we are at the the nerve center of the greenhouse. So we have our two 100 gallon comb bottom tanks, the header, the pump, the recirculating mixer, and the electrical panel. Um, I moved all of my, you know, last year's fertilizer and everything. A big part of this year is going to be inventory of what I have than making my schedule. I've been saying I'm going to make a schedule for a few years now, um, and I'm actually going to do it. <coughs> so, <clears throat> yeah. So this is the area I need access to, and this is a great opportunity, again, for me to clear out all that stuff, and I will only bring back what I need. But, obviously, water flows from the tanks through the pump, and then previously it went through there. I had a uh, another check valve. What do I do with that? I threw it away somewhere, or I moved it somewhere, and I can't find it. So what I need to do, though, now is this is my filter. So I'm going to run all of the uh, water through this filter with a purge valve down here at the bottom. I'll probably run that outside of the greenhouse, so once a week or so, I can blow out the filter. But what this is for... Oh, there's the other check valve right there. Uh, what this is for is to keep any chunks, basically chunks from the fertilizer tank going down through the drip tape 
and clogging up these little holes. So these little slits, if you don't know, are where the water comes out. And if you run a lot of fertilizer and stuff that is not, it's called in solution, which means it's just kind of free floating in the water. If it gets chunky, then you're gonna plug up those holes and then you're in for a bad time. So putting a filter in line will allow me to uh, not worry about that quite as much. The other thing that I have to install is around here somewhere, haha, the vacuum brake. It's just this little guy right here. All this is is kind of like, I think like a spray paint can. When the pressure is going this way, it pushes up that ball and it makes a seal and the water can go through. When there's no pressure, that ball falls and it breaks the vacuum of the line. So what we're trying to do is prevent these tanks from just simply emptying. Because right now, if that little ball valve is on and there's any amount of water in here, it's just going to water through. So I need to put this at a height greater than my tanks so that it will work. So I'll probably have like the filter right here. I'll take off my old controller, mount the filter, bring the water down, and then maybe over here out of the way a little bit, I'll have this vacuum brake up here. I'll do a, you know, a 90, a 90, 90, 90, bring it back down. And then I'm pretty good to go on the modifications for the, uh, the watering system on the front half. And then I just have to move all of my, uh, my trunk lines, the pressure reducers, and we'll talk about that later. So that is the goal. This is what I have to install in addition to that filter. So here we go. Okay, let's forward, fast forward a few hours. It's about 340 and I've got the main line done. Unfortunately, it did take about four trips to Home Depot like any good project seems like it typically does, unfortunately. So what I did was I, uh, I got the O-rings all lubricated on all that stuff down there at my manifold. I, I reconnected that, uh, I primed my pump, kind of took that apart. I fiddled with it, just made sure everything looked like it was running good. I made my, uh, my vacuum brake right here, goes down into my filter. So if I wanted to, oh, just see all that junk that came out of there, blow out my filter. I did wash those tanks out, but I didn't do it like super duper good. And what I'm doing right now is pressure testing the line. I, I got my drill because you could only go so tight with the uh, with the old screwdriver. So what I'm going to do while I have you guys with me is just kind of go through. I already did this a little bit, but kind of open these up. Make sure that there's no junk in there because uh, I blew out, I pretty much blew out the lines already, but I'm just doing it again so you guys can see what you should do. So you open that up and that'll shoot all the way across the greenhouse. So I'm just clearing out those lines, making sure there's no sediment, no junk in there. I already hooked up this one. But I can, uh, and I did, and I blew out that back one right there. So now all that is left to do as far as the water system goes, I can actually do this real fast while I catch you guys, is, <clears throat> uh, is get the uh, soaker lines all squared away. So right now that's going through a uh, pressure reducer. It's going to fill up this, uh, this uh, trunk line, feeder line, whatever you want to call it. And we'll fill up the soaker lines. And from there I can control all three zones. Uh, if I wanted to, you know, more on this one, less on this one, whatever I want to do, I can control that with a little turn of the valve there. So it's really easy to do. Um, I'm reusing the soaker lines, so I'm gonna have to cut them, but that'll be a piece of cake. And I have my second header line right there, I'll connect that, run it down, and then the only one that I need to redo is the third one. So, it, uh, 
piece of cake, really. It's just, uh, it's not hard, it just takes time. And what we're doing right here is making sure that there's no, oh God, no issues like this guy right there. So obviously that's no good, but that's okay. We have couplings where we can uh, just go ahead and step number one, get out of the spray, uh, cut that out and connect it together. But I don't see any other, any other issues with the drip tape. It's just dripping along, doing its thing. So I need to spread it out evenly and then it'll be all happy, happy, happy. In my opinion, I, I really prefer this way of irrigation. Some people go overhead. I really like drip. Drip is just simple. Um, it's just that, it's simple. It keeps fertilizers, keeps everything off the leaves. So you can just have one less thing to worry about. So I gotta go get the kids here pretty soon. And I've been working pretty hard on this. So I think I'm gonna rest for about a half an hour. I'm gonna go get my children. And we'll pick up this here project tomorrow. And then I will uh, come back once it's all done before I cover up the, uh, the soil. And then we'll never, we'll never see this again. But that'll be a separate video. So we'll uh, see you tomorrow. And when I say see you tomorrow, what I really meant to say was I'll see you on Tuesday because uh, Saturday and Sunday was a lot of family stuff. I did get some, some things, some stuff done, but uh, I'm just now getting into the home stretch of the project. I have two of the three zones completely done. I have my, uh, my heat cables connected to the controllers. I have the hoses ready to be attached to, uh, uh, what do you call it, hose in sprayers. Unfortunately, I forgot to take those off. I left the hoses off, but then, you know, with the, uh, the attachment at the end, it broke the attachment. So I need to order myself some new sprayers. But all in all, it's looking really good. I've been letting the water line soak whenever I'm out here uh, so I can just see the pattern make sure it's good i thought i had fixed all the holes but i see a little tiny pinhole here and here so i got two more sections to cut out and splice together but as a whole we're we're pretty much done i just have to do this last one it's uh one o'clock on tuesday i'll be able to knock that out today and then i'll probably man i'm trying to think of when i'll have time but uh before I put my seeds in the ground, my seedlings rather, I will roll out the weed fabric after I've shocked the soil and then started to re-inoculate. So it's looking pretty good. I think we'll call this a, a video right here, a cut. And uh, I'll edit it, post it, and all that good stuff. But it's looking really good. I'm well ahead of where I typically am. So I'll take that as a win. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel, comment below if you have questions, and we'll catch you next week.